People who, because of hardship, cannot bury their loved one, are the ones taking their loved one and dancing it in the street. It had us very angry as young people, concerned young Liberians, to come up in this room be to petition our lawmakers that indeed secret killing is going on. But when a Pajah Sulu and Minister Frank Musa Ding want to cover it up and make the international community feel like there's no secret killing in Liberia. But we had historicity of what has been happening since 2019. I take you right back to rural Master Alicante in Kingdom number seven. There was two little boys, 10 and 8, 10, 8, 10 and 8, 11. One in Elijah Coleman and the other one in Thomas Collins. They both were breadwinners well, at their tender ages. They have gone to sell for their parents. Since they went, they went messy. Those two boys, after one week, they are buried in the community when they saw them, we brought their structure for on them. We brought their structure. And we are all aware, we never brought our structure in Central Park. One of the part I structure for somebody, it means that that is ritualistic killing. For the police to go up that two beginner death, what they did, they went by in Kingdom number seven, they murdered every two men age 17, age 29, just to be able to cover the ritualistic killing. And also, that case, it did not go anywhere. I challenge the police, they are standing around here, here, to be able to tell how far that case from the two little boys went. What they were able to do, smartly, was to kill another person and then shift the whole case to every two men and leaving the two children on. Up to today's date, no record about it. The police are aware of that. That makes the police murderers also. They should be protecting lives and property, but they took away life. So that's how, that, that's how the, the public is giving a prayer to mingle with the police. That's not the one that is case there. Another case was one that is called Florian Massacre. We woke up early morning, on your telephone, your live broadcast, we saw this body around um, the Boulevard, so on the second junction they ran it. In that body, it was bruised up and lady. Guess what happened again? The police did not give any report on that body. We did not find any coverage until that lady was buried. That again, Bastien us here, but we're instructed. So we strongly believe that that was again a ritualistic killing. But today, the police did not speak to that. We, we are counting the police to speak to that. And again, some part of June, between May and June, there was a little point around the uh, Robert P. Howard, around Bantas Miller, called Joel Harris, 12 years old. Joel woke up early in the morning to go and buy his dog.